Hi, what's up guys? Dr. Antonio Webb here, orthopedic spine surgeon. We're here at Cornerstone Christian School. We're at Indy Kalu's uh, football camp. Today I'll be speaking to the students, sharing my story and also uh, giving some advice. So about to get started here soon. My name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. Really rough background, grew up around a lot of drugs, gangs, violence. I really didn't have a role model, someone I can look to. I didn't see any black doctors, never met one. In San Antonio, Texas, there's two of us. That's a problem. Patients need to be treated by providers that look like them. But coming from Louisiana to become a spine surgeon, I had a really rough journey. I failed a lot of tests. I struggled, a lot of mistakes, and you guys will also. But the first thing that I want to leave with you guys and impress on you is that you have to be different, okay? No matter if your friend is taking one path or going to a different school or studying a different major, but the people that were in Louisiana were the drug dealers, the dope boys, all the gang members. And I had to be different, right? A lot of people called me a nerd, kind of growing up, but I always tell people that it's okay if they call you a nerd because uh, tomorrow they'll be calling you boss. I watched a, a recent video of Kobe Bryant in his last uh, talk that he gave, and he talked about in high school, uh, there was a list of students or athletes, and he was number 56 on that list. He had a kill list of people that, that he was gonna take out, and he analyzed them. What, what were they doing? What were they training? What kind of foods were they eating? What type of techniques, routines were they practicing? And he said he took them out one by one. But when he got to the NBA, he said it was easy because a lot of the athletes, they reached financial freedom and they just, they didn't put in the work. They weren't motivated. They didn't have the discipline. So he said in the league was easy. Even though I'm a spine surgeon, I've been to school for 15 years. I still read, I still study, I still put in the time. And I wake up every day at 4.30 in the morning. And if you wanna be successful, that's what you have to do. Dedicate yourself if you wanna be the best. And the third thing is to never give up. I felt multiple times, as I mentioned, I struggled to get into medical school, but each time I analyzed, I set back, I hired tutors, I ultimately uh, got into med school. So it's not in the falling down, it's in the failure to get back up and try again. You're gonna fall a lot, you're gonna struggle, you're gonna be met with uh, resistance and also a lot of opposition along your path. You guys can remember this day, you guys can remember me, look at me, use me as motivation. If I can become a spine surgeon, then you guys can also. So thank you guys for having me.